Hello children, so this week we've been learning about flat 2D shapes and solid 3D shapes and what I've made are some bubble ones. Let's see what shape have I got here. It's got, it's flat and it's got one, two, three straight sides and one, two, three corners. What's the name of my shape? It's a triangle. Let's have a look at the next shape. This shape is flat and it's got four sides and four corners and all the sides are the same length. What's the name of my shape? It's a square. This shape has one curved side and zero corners. And don't tell me it's a sphere because it's flat. It's a circle. And my last shape, it's got four straight sides. Two of the sides are shorter and two of the sides are longer. It's a rectangle. Now what I've got in here is some water and I'm going to try and make some 3D shapes. Let's remember our 3D shapes. Here I've got a cuboid, a cone, a cylinder. Don't tell me it's a circle. It's a ball shape, it's a sphere. And stay, spheres like to roll around as you know and it's a cube. So I've got water in here and we're going to see what bubble shapes we can make. I'll start with my triangle. So I'm going to dip it in the water, lift it up and what shape will it make? Shall we find out? You ready? Have a little countdown. Three, two, one. I'll do that again. What's gone wrong? What did I forget? This is water. You can't make bubbles with water. You have to use bubble mix. So I'm gonna go and get, take the water away and get some bubble mix. Just wait there for me. So I've got my bubble mix. I'm gonna pour it in. Now the bubble mix has got soap in it as well as some other things. I've just put up on our website a recipe for making bubble mix so you could have a look at that if you want to. Now water is made up of tiny little bits called molecules. And on its own, the molecules like to stick together. But when you put soap in with the water, it makes them stretchy and that's how we get bubbles. So let's start with my, what shape's this? Circle shape. Okay. Can you tell your grown up what shape, what 3D shape do you think my circle shape bubble wand will make? Will it be a cube, a sphere, a cylinder, a cone, or a cuboid. Let's have a go. I'm going to dip it in and lift it up slowly, and then I'm going to blow. And what shapes did it make? Still got another one. move it around to and what shape did it make are they cubes they're spheres okay so the circle bubble one makes a sphere shape let's put that down let's have a look at the 
where bubble wand now before i dip it in can you tell your grown-up what shape bubbles do you think it will make will it make a cube with the square faces a sphere a cylinder a cone or a cuboid let's have a little drum roll are you ready let's find out i'm going to dip it in and I'm going to blow air into it to make the bubble. And what shapes did it make? They're all spheres again. Okay, let's put that down. What's the name of my shape? It's flat, it's got four sides, four corners, two sides are shorter, two sides are longer, it's a rectangle. Can you tell your grown-up what shape bubble do you think it will make? Let's find out. I'm going to dip it in and I'm going to blow it. And what shape bubbles did it make? They're all spheres again. One last one. What shape's that? It's got three straight sides and one, two, three corners. It's a triangle. We pop it in and let's find out. Oh, let me try again. Blew too hard. Whatever shape bubble wand you make, you always end up with sphere-shaped bubbles. That's just the way it is. Unless, when you go outside, and you try making bubbles outside, if you've got a space where you can do that, then have a look and see what the wind does to the bubbles. Okay, that's the end of our 2D and 3D shapes lessons this week. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.